okay hello guys how are you I hope it's all been okay and uh, what we have actually doing you already know by our approach towards video is just to actually uh, get ourselves and also our viewers uh, just an awareness about aerospace aerodynamics and the related concepts when we actually take a flight so what are the components uh, what are the dominating factors what are the aerodynamic properties and forces what are the estimations that may help us to get just come across the result which is according to the standards or the standard conditions in which actually we assume that uh, the flight has been taking off or it's been landing so we are just going to take uh, just from the same concept of the approach uh, we're going to have, uh, uh, implement a test method just to estimation of the yaw moment coefficient which is cn of beta and in the previous video we talked about what is rolling a moment equation which was cl into cl of p pb 2v of t plus cl of r rb into 2 divided by 2v of t plus c uh, uh, cl beta into beta plus c uh, L lambda a into lambda a plus C L lambda r into lambda r that was uh, for the rolling uh, moment and that is why we just took that equation and uh, the main part was uh, after C L which is uh, C L of uh, beta into b over uh, 2 v of uh, vt plus cl r, r b into 2 into vt which is the third part the cl of beta into beta okay uh, the uh, cl of uh, uh, beta was the uh, rolling moment and uh, that is why uh, we have to have that one cl of uh, beta okay so that when also the derivative was also CL of uh, beta and uh, then we actually replace the same equation with the CN instead of L and we have actually now CN you can see in the, which is a yawing moment equation and over here with what we have to find which is this one CN of beta okay which is the uh, rolling or the yawing moment coefficient and uh, the CL of beta is what is the rolling moment coefficient which we are going to actually estimate in our next video but what we actually learned from this equation was the uh, rolling uh, moment derivative which was this CL of R okay so that we took as a derivative and we calculated as cl of r by our further equations and further simplifications and assumptions uh, in our one of the lab and one of the previous videos but obviously in our next video we're going to cl of beta which will be a rolling moment coefficient okay we have actually calculated side slip coefficient which is if we're going to actually replace this with cy instead of cl or cn we just going to say it is cy because side slip is normally in directional uh, direction uh, direction of nature or in the vertical direction so cy would be placed because of that it would be cy beta of beta and then cy uh, beta would be called as side slip coefficient which we have calculated in our previous video so just keeping in track of uh, the same approach we're going to calculate what with the help of the yawing moment coefficient, yawing moment which is this, we're going to calculate Cn of beta, which is now the yawing or the yaw moment coefficient. Okay, you just have to keep that in mind. The same equation is being replaced by different symbols according to the nature of uh, the component and also in the nature of uh, the force we have whenever there is a roll there is also a yaw whenever there is a roll and yaw uh, we have to find uh, the SI. there will be uh, there will be a f uh, equation of motions there will be coefficient involved and also when uh, when there is a coefficient we talk about the side slip coefficient as well when there is beta is equal to zero and uh, also when there is side slip coefficient we want to have 
uh, phi as well, we want to have beta as well, we want to have theta. These are the assumptions which are the control angles. And uh, naturally, we are uh, just dealing with the coefficients. We are dealing, uh, the coefficients are normally uh, calculated with the help of the estimation and also with the help of the derivatives, okay? So uh, the whole uh, concept is just uh, surrounded by aerodynamic properties, aerodynamic components, aerodynamic forces, which make up uh, all uh, the components to actually get uh, the flight uh, test completed and also according to the standard conditions. So na naturally we have to follow some uh, basic steps and after our assumptions are absolutely right, whether it is applied to any component, whether it is applied to any derivative, whether it is applied to any coefficient, we can say that our flight test or even eventually flight and on a regular basis is absolutely right and okay as per the standard conditions, as per the uh, standards required. For a steady uh, state side slip, which is obviously static case, and uh, Cn is equal to zero, P is equal to zero, R is equal to zero. Cn beta into beta, Cn lambda A into lambda A plus Cn lambda R into lambda R is equal to zero. This equation shows that the rudder is required to counteract the uh, weather cock stability Cn of beta and the aileron yaw which is Cn of uh, lambda A. Okay, so this is lambda A's aileron because uh, aileron uh, component, okay, or the aileron coefficient you can say and Cn lambda R is because of rudder. But we have to calculate Cn of beta which is the yaw, okay, and that is uh, for the uh, steady slip. These uh, all conditions are calculating the coefficient and uh, coefficient uh, one is related to the uh, steady slip. We have actually calculated uh, our calculation mainly if you're talking about from the steady state uh, uh, coordinated turn, obviously what we have calculated, we have calculated the coefficient because of that steady state, state uh, type. And because of steady state, normally that revolves around beta. And also all the coefficient will also be around that. That is why we have calculated this one. But obviously aileron A and because of the rudder, these can be calculated separately but not under the same, uh, which is uh, the paradigm. These factor will obviously uh, will uh, add on, but the major part would be around this CN of beta. These are the uh, uh, compensating factors, not actually the major part, but obviously they compensate, uh, which is CN of beta. Cox stability and the aileron and CN lambda R. It may be noted that the value of CN lambda uh, okay, can be estimated using recorded values of lambda A, which is lambda A and lambda and beta. Lambda A, lambda and beta, provided the values of C and lambda A and C and lambda R are known a priori. Okay, so further, if we know the value C and lambda A and C and lambda R, okay, and uh, by the recorded values of lambda A and uh, lambda R, lambda A and lambda R, and eventually of beta, okay, we can estimate the relationship or we can actually, uh, then we can show that beta over uh, lambda R is equal to Cn lambda R over Cn of beta. That is our, uh, that is our actually main part that needs to be regulated. Actually, where Cn lambda R is negative and Cn lambda, uh, Cn beta is positive. So definition for a stable airplane, okay. So Cn beta will always be positive, but Cn lambda R because of the rudder, it, because of uh, the rudder, that would be of a negative. So that is the uh, equation derived. Thus, for an aircraft having directional stability, okay, what we are talking about, they are talking about the directional stability because there is a yaw moment, there is a yaw moment coefficient, there is a yaw moment. Uh, component. We have already gone through the whole concept. The slope of plot of uh, beta versus uh, lambda r will be positive. We have to calculate obviously because of B, beta and also the lambda r, we need to calculate the relationship between these two. So flight test uh, to estimate uh, what? Uh, estimate yawing moment coefficient Cn of beta. Record the takeoff weight of aircraft. First of all, you have to record the takeoff weight 
and uh, note down the velocity v, altitude h, rudder deflection lambda r, and angle of side slip beta during the study uh, side slip maneuver. We are actually doing this under the side study side slip maneuver. That is the condition, and all these coefficients are calculated for that set study side slip, so that we can say that the turn is absolutely right. Uh, now, given c and lambda r, other derivative c and beta can be estimated with the help of the expression we have calculated this plot beta versus lambda will find uh, the uh, we find the slope of plot will be positive absolutely right so I can draw it right now but uh, you can draw it by yourself if there are any problems uh, we can actually discuss uh, in our next video or in the coming videos that we can actually draw uh, a plot a graph as well just to show the relationship between beta and lambda r and the slope would be positive and note since since uh, c and lambda r is negative we have shown by the equation because of the rudder c and beta is always positive so the relationship between c n of uh, c n lambda r into c n of beta is equal to is positive okay because the, the dominating factor would be here uh, would be uh, we have to calculate c n of beta so that the, the equation whole equation would be the result would be needs to be positive so that is all uh, together the uh, the uh, this uh, video and how obviously what we have estimated is the yawing moment coefficient and uh, because of uh, the yaw, yaw moment uh, is actually being counteracted by what it's been uh, counteracted by the rudder and uh, and also, uh, obviously, rudder is required to counteract uh, this uh, CN of uh, beta and also with CN of lambda A, which is uh, the uh, stability because of the aileron. So uh, that is why we the main component would be because of a rudder, and a rudder is all at the vertical position at the tail, and uh, normally because of that we have the yaw, yaw coefficient, and. Uh, that is how it has been uh, counteracted. So we have calculated that it is uh, the dominant. Uh, the test method is obviously for the uh, dominating factors, which are the lateral and uh, in lateral and directional stability. So the dominating factors would be uh, C n of beta and C n of lambda a because of uh, the uh, uh, because of uh, the uh, sinus side slip. Obviously, beta is an essential, and obviously, we can say that the control angle and the the uh, and the aileron stability are uh, the major factors or the dominating factors, and the uh, rudder is actually counteracting these two just to create uh, or balance off uh, the stability or the instability in case of this if it's uh, stronger. But uh, the, uh, the dominating factors uh, over here we are talking about in terms of lateral and directional stability and in this case we have talked about the directional stability and uh, side slip coefficient is being covered and uh, which was by that equation which we have derived for fire F, uh, uh, F of, uh, uh, FY and we have actually added on the uh, weight factor as well that was for the side slip and afterwards we have calculated the yaw moment coefficient as well and in the next video we're going to calculate the rolling moment coefficient and uh, the, or estimation of the rolling moment coefficient so that will actually help us to uh, get all the components in line okay and but obviously all the components will revolve around this one the third part if you're going to re uh, replace it cl of beta uh, cy of beta that would be what the side slip coefficient if it will be cl of beta that i have talked earlier that would be rolling moment coefficient and cn of beta that would be the uh, yaw moment uh, coefficient okay so these two aileron and rudder will play the part Okay, uh, for as far as uh, the uh, uh, directional stability is concerned, and let's see in the next video what, 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 how these factors or the components will play as far as the rolling moment coefficient is concerned, and obviously that would be under the paradigm of the lateral stability, and when we're talking about the steady uh, side slip uh, maneuver, okay, where beta is equal to zero, and also the other assumptions that we have uh, taken as far as the lambda r velocity by the airspeed indicator and altitude 
uh, is also measured by uh, the instrument. We may actually draw uh, some of uh, the graph as well, I believe, in some of the in coming videos, just to actually clarify ourselves and what are the different uh, sort of uh, the instruments. But we're also going to uh, give another video, or just uh, provide you another video, in which we're going to discuss the uh, terminologies and the definitions. If you are interested in getting the terminologies and definitions related to the aerodynamics, the aircraft, related to the aircraft structure, we'll just provide a separate video. But with the passage of time, we are just dealing with the concepts, that is the numerical concepts, the estimation, that is the major part. As far as the engineering uh, perspective is concerned, we need to be very sound, we need to be crystal clear in terms of engineering of uh, the aircraft design, aircraft maneuvering, and uh, aircraft stability the factors that are from the engineer's point of view that is of uh, uh, that is of importance and we're going to actually handle those and also our videos obviously mean meant to serve the engineer's perspective and also whether it is uh, with the help of uh, theoretical approach whether it is with the help of uh, the uh, you can say a thematic approach or with the help of algebraic expressions or with the help of uh, theoretical explanation, algebraic expression, uh, thematic calculation, or with the help of uh, graphical representation, which in terms of plot, whether in terms of estimation, whether we use the, some software, uh, normally uh, it would be MATLAB or something that may actually, uh, or, or likewise, that may help us to actually just show what was the basic theme of our, uh, how you can actually estimate or plot, uh, because that is why I've actually not shown uh, uh, some plot this way we will cal actually calculate uh, or show you the plot in real time via obviously by examples as well so that you can get an idea what is the real purpose of graph and what is the real purpose of using some softwares that help us to understand the engineering perspective of aircraft uh, engineering perspective of aerodynamics so I uh, hope I hope that I have actually explained just in terms of estimation and I've given you the idea that how we're going to approach but uh, yet again I'd also recommend that you do subscribe like share as well and along way uh, along the line you just also just visit our uh, actually uh, videos uh, for our other services that we actually um, do offer and if someone is interested we can uh, coordinate and we can negotiate on uh, some suitable and uh, uh, best terms on both sides so hope to see you with our next video till then take care and have a nice day